What is going on guys? Evolution here and we are back with some more of the Grand Tour series on the island map. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So this episode I actually want to do some alterations to the tech farm here. Now it's working quite well. We're getting a lot of resources. I think we have over 10,000 electronics already and uh, I think we're at the same for the dust. But one thing I didn't even think about, really, is the scrap metal that we get from it. I have a ton of scrap metal that I smelted up into ingots. So it's just producing, really, all the resources. So I want to make it a little bit more efficient and a lot bigger. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I think I want to start by doing a bit of building here. I wanted to go down towards the actual main build. Because right now we're just kind of sitting above it. But if we have the pair swords up there, and then we do kind of a drop-down system for the eggs. And then maybe build that on this level. I think that could be quite interesting. So we're going to fill in this whole area, and I think I actually want to go maybe that way and make it even longer. Because we can't exactly fit a ton of pair swords up there. If we have it only that size. So let's maybe go all the way to the edge here. And then do something like this. I feel like that'll be enough space. Alright, so we've got that all filled in down there. And we're just going to expand out here on the top. Just so we have some more room to work with. And this shouldn't be too difficult. We are going to need a lot of parasaurs though. So maybe we should stop the carnage in here. Oh, let's not let any out. No, I'd like to get in, though. Oh, uh, they got ruined. Uh, can you relax? Just for a moment. Behavior. Let's make you passive. Let's simmer down here. We need a bunch of eggs. Wow, you almost have a thousand electronics on you again. Oh, it produces so very quickly. Super happy. Uh, let's just expand this. All right, I think this is going to be enough room, so let's go ahead and start just picking up some of these parasaurs. You're female. Great, that's what we want. And poo, please get out of the way. What are you? No, there's an egg there now. I just want to see what this parasaur is. Please let me see what you are. Uh, you're a male. Okay. That's not necessarily the worst thing if we don't get too many of those. And what about you? Can we grab you? You're female, perfect. And you are a female, perfect. Can we see what you are? You're also a female. Okay, we got three more females there. Let's bring them out here if we can. All right, so we've made a little bit of progress here. We've got the eggs falling down. Oh, that looks so cool. I'm a big fan of that. And uh, now all we need to do is kind of place some walls down and figure out exactly how we want to make the dire wolf sit down here and eat things because the bigger they are, the more resources they give. But I also want to make it automated. So it's going to be kind of tricky. We're going to play around with some stuff and uh, hopefully figure it out. And look at the eggs drop. Oh, that's so cool. They kind of just float down magically. And there's one of them that's actually not breeding at the moment. Why are you not breeding? That is not what we want. Can we get you a bit closer? Let's unhitch. And can we ride you now? We can. And let's just throw you here. That should work a bit better. Let's re-hit you. And everyone's breeding now. Beautiful. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do three walls down on each side of stone. And then we're going to do glass walls. So we can see the eggs float down, but we don't get to see any of this mess. I don't really want to see all of the weird parasaurs kind of half floating and half not. But the eggs falling is working very well. Seems to be doing exactly what it's meant to. And then that way the dire wolf down below is going to have an easier time and not get stuck on any bodies. And it should kill everything with ease. 
All right, I'm basically done hiding all of this. I just didn't want to see the tails from the bottom. Felt like that was unnecessary. And this should see to that. There we go. And the eggs are still flopping down. We just need to get rid of that one random wall. Not sure why it's there. Can we... There we go. So I'm liking that. That looks great, I think. I think we're just going to do a stone wall on this side of things. And then we'll do the glass wall on this side. So let's grab the stone walls. All right, so this thing is producing like crazy. We have so many parasaurs here. It's just dropping eggs, like no tomorrow. And I think how I want to do the glass here is if we place something like that. And then we build up. Can we get that? We're going to have to fly. Okay. But just something like that so we can watch the eggs come down, but it's not like super in our face. And let's keep placing these like that. And can we get in here? Oh, we might want to clean up all the corpses. I'm also losing all the frames. Let's do that. Get on the flyer. This might actually be a bit easier for us. I think I really don't like building on a flyer, but sometimes you just got to do it. Let's just keep doing this. And then it should work out perfectly with the walls up there. It does. Okay. And I think that looks kind of cool. We need to grab a little bit more glass walls. And oh my goodness, we need to clean up the, uh, the corpses. There's way too many corpses. Let's head down here for a second. We're just losing frames. I can feel it. Oh, we're going to get so much. So many resources. Oh, no. We've let everything just float away. All right. At least we can kind of move around now. We've got some frames. We have a little bit of a parasaur problem roaming, but that's okay. We'll deal with the majority of them. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll clean up the rest later. There is a bunch on the other side of the wall here. Let's clean this up as well. That one's stuck in the wall. We can't seem to clean that up. It'll just disappear though, so it's not a big deal. And there we go. We went from like 20 frames to 70, so I like that. Alright, so the glass is looking great here, and I think I want to do the whole bottom glass. And then we're just going to do some doors like that. And I think it looks good. I don't necessarily hate it. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Do a door there. And then we're going to glass up. Like so. And then I'm going to do the side walls here stone. I didn't have enough stone. So we have to go grab some more of those walls. And, oh, we need to fix this as well. This is on the wrong foundation. There we go. Definitely liking how it's coming along. And then we just need to figure out proper power and air conditioning in there. Let's grab the dire wolf. Let's chuck you inside here. And let's see exactly how efficient this is. Let's grab all of this out of here. Ooh, we're going to be really heavy. Okay, hang on. Let's use our RG here. Let's throw you there, like so. Grab the metal and dust out of you. And we can probably drop some of this prime. And you are going to do your thing. I'm going to put this here for now. Are you... Okay, it's not the smartest direwolf. It is slowly doing its thing, though. All right, so I'm noticing a bit of an issue here. So since the eggs are dropping down and it takes a little while for them to actually hatch, the direwolf is killing them instantly and we're not exactly getting a good yield. So what I want to try and do is maybe have them uh, incubate on the way down and potentially hatch before they actually reach the bottom. 
So we're going to go ahead and rig something up here. We're going to go up to maybe about there. That should be good. Throw you there. Oh, that did... Where did that just place? It placed in the wall. Of course it did. That's exactly where it was. Just relax, Direwolf. I hear you in there. Why... Why... Why does Ark do this to me? Like, clearly, like, we're not moving quickly. We're just trying to play something. It's green. Okay, amazing. So we've done that. And now, what I want to try and do... If we can do this correctly... Is place some air conditioners here? Like so. And then we'll place some air conditioners here. Do five high, maybe. And we may need to go higher than that. If so, not a big deal. We can do that. And we'll go up five here. And uh, we will put some gasoline in and see if this actually is going to be any better for us. All right, so I'm still playing around with stuff. We've placed a ton of air conditioners here. We've got them stacked up and it doesn't seem to help too much like they start incubating in the air but it's still about a 15 second timer. I was hoping it was kind of quick enough to hatch mid-air but that's not the case unfortunately. So instead I've set them all to breed at the exact same time and we're going to see the eggs fall here in just a moment. They should all fall at once and then I hope that the majority of them make it and actually provide resources. Okay, we got the first one there. Oh, look at them all fall. That's amazing. Absolutely love it. And then we've got all of these falling. Okay, they're not exactly all together, but I did the best I could. So it's going to go all the way to that end. One of those. Only one of those gave resources. Interesting. All right, so what I've done here is I've actually added in some walls in between everything. And that seems to provide the Parasaurs a bit more time to actually grow. And the majority of them are now providing resources, which is amazing. Exactly how I wanted to. I also may add some more Parasaurs just so we up the uh, egg count. We could probably do the exact same thing here as we have on the other side. And drop them straight down the hole. All right, now we got to figure out exactly what we want to do with this top side here to make it look clean and good. I'm just going to pick up all this random stuff first. Get it out of our way and uh, probably move these parasaurs. I don't exactly know what to do with them at the moment. Let's just get you three out of here. Bring you over here. And then we got lots of room to build on. All right, so I'm thinking how I want to do this is actually hide the parasaurs. So we don't really see them from the outside. So we're going to do a gate like that. And we're going to do a gate like so. And then I'm going to do some sort of weird roof over top of them, I guess. Not exactly sure how it's going to work. But we're going to do three walls high instead of four. So it's not so boxy. Um, can I get in here, please? Thank you. I do appreciate it. And we're just going to place all these walls down. Alright, so I've got the walls down here. And uh, what I want to do now is do a line straight across. Like so. And then we're going to do ramps coming down like this. On each side. And I think this will look kind of cool. It's not going to be the most amazing build in the world. It's just a farm after all, but... Bring a little style to it. I think it's always nice. Alright, so we've got that done. And then I think what I want to do is build... Like this across. Maybe? Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's get rid of you. I don't like the level you're on. Let's just do that. Alright, so we have completed the roof on this thing. And it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. 
We may need to add some bits and pieces here and there. Maybe some glass. But it looks pretty cozy inside. All right, so I've been playing around with a couple of things here, and I've created this little side shop. We've got glass peering into the actual workshop itself. And I like it. I really do. But I feel like it's still missing something. Let's try maybe picking up this wall here. If we can do that structure. Let's pick you up. And let's put some glass right here. Does that look any better? Um... I don't actually know. I still feel like it's missing something. Still not sure what that would be. But I like the little side shop here. And then we can just probably put some storage in there. And I think that looks good. We can just store all of the resources that we make in this farm. So we've got the electronics. We've got the scrap metal. Dust. And oil. So we're, uh, we're doing pretty good here. And yeah, there we go. A great start on the V2 version of the uh, tech farm. It's looking great. I love the inside. Feels so cozy in here. Uh, we just need to get some parasaurs on this side. Get those breeding. And I'm still not sold on the outside. I love this area, but I don't like the main roof. I think it looks a little bit weird from the outside. So we may make some alterations and kind of change it up a wee bit. And before we end off this video, I just wanted to add some lights to everything. So we've got this whole area here. Wow, this is bright. We may want to turn down the intensity a little bit. Uh, but we've lit all inside here. And then I've actually lit the entire way down with the egg dropping. So it's kind of dark in the middle there. But I think it looks pretty dang cool. So yeah, now we have everything lit up day or night, and Gamma is amazing and all, but I want to start using some more lights because I just like the way they look. And we can also change the color on them if we really want to, you know, color coat things. There's so many possibilities. And I think that's actually going to be it for this video, so remember to smash that like button. And remember to subscribe if you guys have not already, because it seriously helps me out. And uh, yeah, have a good one. See ya.